the only bit of maths you need to be an airline pilot is the three times table. So for now, let's say, for example, I was at 24,000 feet and I wanted to get down to a relative approach speed to make an approach. I would times this by three. So let's say that's 72. So I would need 72 miles to lose this height, roughly. And then it's about one mile per 10 knot of speed. So we'd land about 120 knots and we're doing 280. So that's about another 16 miles plus our 72. So we'd need about 85 miles or so to make our descent and approach. Uh, the wind can play a factor. So with a 25 knot headwind, maybe we would need a couple of miles less because that will help. But if that headwind becomes a tailwind as we start our approach in this direction, then we would need to be more conservative in our descent planning because the tailwind's gonna carry us further forward at a faster rate than we might want. And that applies in all scenarios. I'll try and talk you through the uh, descent and approach scenario as we get there. But that's pretty much the calculation that I am making constantly throughout the approach. 